Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wembley Stadium. 90,000 sold out. It is SummerSlam from NSW. My name is Divis and i Tim Price, of course. We are ready to go for the kickoff show. Your build up to the main card. SummerSlam is half an hour away. Oh, look at that match up. We can have us the main event. It has been, there has been so much going on about this match. Lesnar demanding this match, getting this match. He will face Roman Reigns for the Raw Championship tonight. Tim, the big dog, has got a beast to deal with. Ah, uh, yes, he certainly does. The Raw Champion, Roman Reigns, has got one have a task ahead of him, but well, he defeated Brock Lesnar to become Raw Champion. Can he do it again? Can he retain? We'll find out in the main event. The Nitro Championship is on the line. Connor Rhodes shocked the world on Wednesday night by saying he got into the match. Marcus Cutter thought he wasn't going to defend. He has now against the real American. Yeah, Marcus Cutter hasn't had a whole lot of time to prepare for this matchup. But we know what Marcus Cutter is capable of in that ring. Well, these two are going to go to war. And can Connor Rhodes become Nitro Champion? We'll find that out. We will find out, will the real American dude or will the Danish whaleman continue his wild ways? Also from Smackdown, Dean Amber, the lunatic fringe, takes on Adrian Kincaid. Kincaid says he, he deserves this shot. Many people disagree, but tonight he could walk out of SummerSlam with the Smackdown World Championship. Yeah, he certainly could. Yeah, some people, so a lot of people saying he doesn't deserve it, but I disagree. I think Kincaid's got a lot of talent. And he does deserve the shot, and he could become smacked out champion. But Teen Ambrose, the lunatic fringe, he ain't gonna pack town from this fight, and he's gonna well do everything to keep it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna get underway with our first kickoff match, making his way to the ring. He is Braun Strowman. Yeah, he is Braun Strowman, the monster among men. And just look at the size of him and how oh, what a huge way to kick off the pre-show here you can see that the fans have already packed in there's no empty seat here tonight ladies and gentlemen but if you're watching us live you have got the best seat in the house you're going to see front row action here tonight on a mega night for nsw 13 matches to go down tonight and what a way to kick things off from the raw brand with big braun Strowman. This is a huge way to kick off. Well, the kick or show off SummerSlam here in front of you. As you said, 90,000. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is HBK. The Heartbreak Kid, Danny Six. Yeah, here's the Heartbreak Kid, Danny Six. has got a hell of a tall task ahead of him coming inside there with Prawn Strowman. If there's a man that can't get it done, it is as well the ability of Tanny Six. Pyro goes off the crowd here. I love this guy. But will this be a task too far for the sexy one here tonight? Yeah, very well, maybe. We know what Punch Troman is capable of in that ring. I mean, it's been a bit of a tough start for Punch Troman. But if we could destroy a man like Tanny Six here tonight, well. It's definitely going to kill a lot of people scared of him. Well, Danny Six looking in fantastic shape for this one. But it may not make any difference. We are going to kick things off here live from Wembley Stadium. Here with Danny Six and Braun Strowman. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, if you have not way. ordered, <laughs> get your get, order your um, pay-per-view right now. Yeah, make sure you do that. As a, Look at that broad Strowman. Strowman with just a heavy push straight away. And Strowman will have the advantage here, height and strength. But you would think Danny Six may have the, the speed advantage in this one, but not if he keeps getting hit with that many shots. No, he certainly won't. That was definitely disorientating and really affect that speed advantage. But well, that's going to affect broad Strowman disorientating. But trying for the insecurity. Does it take Roger Tremor down, but that will a lovely Hurricane Rana. Now into the armbar, trying to really put the big man down, trying to really take one of his arms out. And that really will be um, a huge benefit, especially with the strength of Braun Strowman. But look at that, just two big shots. Yeah. And that is straight out from Strowman. Now, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh, Rooney Wayne. Rooney Wayne, 
We're like, what? Two minutes into the show and he's already getting beaten up. And look at the strength of Danny Six taking Braun Strowman up. Yeah, Rooney Wayne is going to have a long night if it's going to happen after two minutes. And he's going to have a very long night and so will our big match, Chana. I'm sure he'll end up being victimized. There's a lovely scent on there. Bit of a medium boy. A medium boy. Got to be a medium boy. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you are playing at home along, play with the big boy sentons. Hoping there was a few tonight. There's a, oh, nice uppercut there by uh, Ron Sherman. Oh, yes, we've got an advert. We, uh, join us for Raw tomorrow night. Because uh, it's all the fallout. And of course, they can see Roman and Ron Sherman there, of course. Uh, join us for Raw tomorrow night. Um, I don't think Tim's going to be there, though. Why am I not going to be there? Oh, you are going to be there. You don't usually... I, I just thought you wouldn't be there because Bisping's there. That's like, just what I heard. It's just, well, you're making up stuff. 10 o'clock in the UK, remember, for Raw tomorrow night. And uh, Strowman now looking to maybe end Mr. Six. Uh-oh. Oh, what a manoeuvre. Oh, that vicious manoeuvre there. And I'll uh, go for the cover. This could be it. Two. No, just the two count. Yeah, kick out there from Tony Six, but he looks in severe trouble with Broad Strowman in there. Broad Strowman, oh, I think he's a good looking to look, uh, lock in that triangle bear hold. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, God. Oh, this could be the end. That, that, no, no. I thought he waved it off, but no, look at this. Danny Six quick to get out of it. And now, yeah, George Jacket. Oh, Lovely George Jacket. So he can be a submission expert, but how he got out of that, I don't know. Not many people do, and you've got to see. This could be the chance, and oh, look at this now, big shot, and a second takes the big man off his feet, and a swing blader! Lovely swing blade. And now, Six... looks in trouble now. Yeah, he does indeed, look out. Oh my goodness, look oh at the strength. Oh my god, that is impressive strength. Down oh. he goes. And now, this could be it, this could be the win. And it is! Oh my god! Well, who would have thought you'd seen that? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Danny Six! Well, very impressive from Danny Six here tonight. You can see well the exhaustion from that matchup, but what a way to kick off the pre show of SummerSlam. Yeah, Danny Six picks up the win, and my goodness me, what a battle that was! Yeah, that was a huge monumental battle there, but well, the winner is there, and he is Tony Six. And the UK crowd already loving things here on the kickoff show. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're going to see later on tonight. Will we see SmackDown or Raw come out on top as Morgan Wolf takes on the miracle J Money? Now, ladies and gentlemen, huge news backstage. This was supposed to be Extreme Rules. It has been reverted back to a normal match on the on the demands of Daniel Bryan. Well, that is very interesting. Daniel Bryan demanded this be, you know, just a regular singles match. I mean, Chamani now has the advantage of Queen Eve. Mm -hmm. Also coming up, it is the NSW European title held by Crazy J, but tonight, he faces Liam Wolf, who's on a huge roll at the minute. You would have to think, though, that DK may just play a part in this one. I think they're going to play a huge part in this matchup. And, well, it's going to be very tough for Liam Wolf to become a European champion, but as you said, he's been very impressive. He could be able to do a bit crazy Jay. You know he's going to try to get the decay involved. Also, ladies and gentlemen, this one is going to be an all-out war as Kim Payne looks to dethrone Asuka and take the Nitro Women's Championship. Yep, this is definitely going to be an all-out war and all-out brawl. This match ain't going to be pretty at all as the Nitro Women's Championship is on the line. Will Kim Payne be able to become the new champion or will Asuka continue on? We'll find out, ladies and gentlemen, later on as SummerSlam, as our kickoff show, Continues here, ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, being accompanied by Francis. They are the challengers, the team of Chaz and Bruce, the new guy. 
Yeah, there they are. There are the new K who have well the huge opportunity to become SmackDown Tag Team Champions. It wasn't a good night for them last night on main event, but tonight could be a whole different ball game. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And, well, the force have looked dominating in the last few weeks, but these guys know how to get the job done. They are NSW veterans, and you know that the new day will be ready for battle here tonight. Oh, they certainly will. You know, the new day have been preparing for this ever since we became number one contenders. Tonight, they could be able to do it. We're hearing some stories backstage, ladies and gentlemen, that the New Day, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods have have been beaten up. Uh, nope. I don't know, don't know who could have done that. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more news as the uh, the night goes on. But um, unfortunately, some really bad news there. Well, I think we can all suspect. I think we can. But ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, they are the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions, being accompanied by Mikey and Dub Cornet, Dan Masters, Kaplan Lars. The Force! And yeah, here are the Force. Two very dominant well, men in that ring and one of the most dominant tag teams in NSW. And that's why they are the tag team champions. These two men, well, we call them the... They are called the Force, but my goodness, they have been using the Force. They have battered and bruised and bloodied a lot of people. And well... As I said, it doesn't look like anybody may be taking these championships off them. The New Day, New Gay even, sorry, have a lot to do. Yeah, the New Gay certainly do have a tall task ahead of them. A hell of a difficult oh, matchup. Oh, Francis, come on. Leave Mikey um, and Double Loon there, Mike. Yeah. Tick tickling his bum. Yeah, that that's just weird. That is not right. I think uh, he needs to get on the other side of the ring. Yeah. Weirdo. As uh, of course there is the titles. Of course, big match, John from SmackDown. Your SmackDown referee. Beautiful SmackDown tag team titles. Force, oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> Force defeat and glorious domination. Um, a long time ago, it seems now. But here we go. Match number two, and your kick on the kickoff show. Brought to you, of course, by Jew Mountains. A lot of mountains with Jews in them, and of course, by Snakes on a Plane too. Hiss hiss. Snakes on a plane. Yep. Siobhan Befrick, who, well, it obviously the, um, the host of SummerSlam and Samuel Jackson, still snit sick of those snakes on those planes. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be hearing from Sean Bethwick on the main show, our host for SummerSlam. Of course, also the, uh, the one of the people in NCI Toss Toss. Make sure you do check out NCI Toss Toss on NSS underscore one. Yes, make sure you do. An interesting fact I'm going to quickly bring up about, you know, I don't think sometimes we're giving the new guy enough credit. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we can't forget about... Oh, the oh, big, big boy! boy. Big, big, big boy! But we can't forget about the fact of, well, when are the teams to dethrone the big force? <laughs> That's a Huge, big, big, big boy! <laughs> Oh, Dave is very excited. I think he's already unlocked the mini bar here, but <laughs> as I say, we can't forget American Alpha were a team to defend the Force. But the Force did quickly win them back, but that still. Is true. Yes, of course, of course, I forgot about that. My goodness me. Well, their reign wasn't exactly long. No, it was about two days. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's about my time it takes me to get over a hangover these days. Tag in. And you are old. That is true. And, oh, this could uh -oh. be bad. Oh, I'll kick right between the eyes. And Captain Lars looking as SummerSlam will continue. What a really funny time to go to Andy. I don't know where he's Whoa, been. what kind of thing was that? We'll be back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ben, this W comes away five times a week. And you can see more madness like you just have on Vaughn. Monday nights, Smackdown is Tuesdays, Nitro Wednesday nights, Cruiserway Time Pack Thursday night, and of course... All four brands on main event on Saturday nights. Do not miss it, of course. If you do miss it, though, go to Nonstop Wrestling UK on YouTube, where you'll see all the shows. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you can guess, this match is still continuing. Oh, oh, wait there, wait there. Sparkly Witch! A oh, lovely Sparkly Witch. That master seems to have all your favourite moves. Indeed. And, uh, 
Well, into the corner here. Oh, what's he thinking? Look out! Back oh. elbow! Insecurity combination! Oh my god! What a combination! That is just vicious there! And remember, it, Bruce, Bruce was taken out backstage this past week. Yeah, and then a new guy tried to get some revenge on main event, but to no avail was up. Oh, oh no! The Master Buster! Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I think may have just ended the New Gears Challenge. I think it has. Is it to a cover hooker, the leg? Two! No, he kicked out! Oh my god! Just yet, yeah, Chas was not going to get that. Kaplan Lars had caught him. But Bruce kicks out. I don't know if he got shoved into the ropes more than anything, though. But, well, give him credit, this match still continues. And this match still gets to go on. But, oh, just look at vicious shots there into the face of Bruce. And Mikey M. Duckanet just on the outside, just very, very patiently watching. Because he knows his band of men are in control. Oh, drops him. What a manoeuvre. Oh, what a vicious manoeuvre there. And now, oh, oh, tag in, no. This can, cannot be good. No, it can't be. Bruce needs to get out of there. Yeah, Chaz into this matchup. Oh, look at that. The arrogance of the force. They think they may have him here. And they do. Oh, my God. Well, that's just a force here. You could be so arrogant and cocky, and they've shown it works. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest, and still your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Dan Masters, Kaplan Lars, The Force. Well... Which team is going to be the one who can't dethrone these two again? He's looking as dominant as ever. And the force remain the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Yeah, big win for tonight for the force. Who will be next to challenge them? We'll find out Hopefully on SmackDown this week. Coming up, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we have more matches coming up for you on the main card. What about this from SmackDown? The IC Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura versus probably his toughest test, yes, in big, dangerous Tristan Knight. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a hard-hitting match, to say the least. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, has to defend his Intercontinental Championship against, as you said, the very dangerous Tristan Knight. Also, the Raw Women's title is on the line as Charlotte takes on someone with not many friends and some wacky inflatables, Bailey. And they're her only friends are the wacky, inflatable, stupid idiots. And that's why Charlotte is going to quite easily and convincingly retain her Raw Women's Championship here tonight against that fangirl Bailey. Coming up later on tonight, it is, of course, the Raw Women's title, Charlotte. Well, has already been defeated by Bailey, so would it play into Bailey's hand? We will find out. And of course, what about this? This, ladies and gentlemen, will be inside a steel cage tonight. Brandon Lee's, well, he hit Zadlan with a loaded boot tonight. Zadlan might hit him with a lot more. Yeah, I think Zadlan is going to hit Brandon Lee's with a lot more. I think Brandon Lee's has made a horrible mistake getting on the bad side of Zadlan and inside a steel cage. We could see the end of Brandon Lee's at the hands of Zadlan. Um, it is going to happen later on tonight, but we are now ready for our second championship match of the evening. It is from Nitro, and it is for the USA Championship. Making his way to the ring first, he is the challenger, the cage, Daniel Cage. And there is the cage, Daniel Cage of well, a huge opportunity after he well defeated the USA champion after he did that. Well, went to Shane Man's office, demanded a title shot, and he's got it here at SummerSlam. And could he become the USA champion? Could happen, ladies and gentlemen. Could indeed happen here tonight. Of course, you called it, Tim. Of course, you said that he should deserve a shot if he wins, and hey, he pulled off the win this week on Nitro. And he pulled off the win, and now he's got the opportunity at the USA Championship. And you now Daniel Cage could win yet again. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, ask you to please get on social media, tell everybody where we are, tell them to be watching SummerSlam. They do not want to miss the action-packed night 
from NSW. We've already seen some great matches. We are bound to see some of the very best here tonight. 90,000, goodness me, look at the size of this place. Oh, it's absolutely huge. And the fact of we're in front of 90,000 people, it's, it's insane. It is indeed. You guys see, they have been loud since they've even got in here. Oh, Izzy's Izzy's not in the front row. Oh, no, she isn't. Yeah, that's that's yeah. good for business, I guess. Well, front row tickets are very expensive. Yeah, but remember, our parents are multi-millionaires. That is very true. Oh, she's also moved, they oh, she's moved down. Wait, how is she doing that? Wait, have we got multiple Izzy's here? I don't think so. No, don't, please don't say that. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is your USA Champion, Gilberto Del Rey! Yeah. Or El Rey, even. El Rey, yeah, there is Gilberto so, El Rey, the, the USA Champion. And I hope we see it tonight. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, the, the scarf! Interdimensional, yeah, the interdimensional scarf. For it, wait for it. I don't think it's going to happen, Tim. I think it's it only, better happen. It's only on certain occasions. Oh, you can't forget about that scarf. Well, maybe he's got a bit more things to uh, concentrate on, like defending the USA Championship. He is, he is the leader of Mex America, you know. And that is very true. So that is why his focus is tonight in front of ninety thousand. Oh, well, loud as hell fans here tonight. I did say I did ask uh, Gilberto. I says, "How do you feel to be um, a po like the leader of Mex?" I, I did say Mexicana, and he turned around and said, "Don't be a stupid idiot." Yeah, why would you ask such a stupid question to leader of Mex America? I got, he says, I, "I'm not. I'm not in. A, I don't like snakes." Apparently, is what he said. Who likes snakes? That's what he said. He says he doesn't like snakes. When I said that's, that's what I'm asking, uh, and no one likes snakes. Who likes snakes? Apart from insane people. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. A quick question from uh, the chat saying, "Who do we? What we're looking forward to the most?" Well, I just love the action. I love calling the action here tonight. Yeah, everything about tonight is just going to be great, and you know that for a fact. Action pack night, of course. One of the only four times a year where all four brands come together. We're going to see an inter-brand match tonight, of course. We're going to see a steel cage match tonight. So much going to go down. But the USA Championship is on the line from Nitro. Is, oh my goodness, straight into the turnbuckle. And do you think that Gilberto has a point to prove? Oh, the deal! Oh, the, well, very much similar to the deal so early on. Well, that, the uh, no, Michinoku deal. No, no pin there, of course. But yeah, it's only a Michinoku deal. Yeah, got to have the full deal. Exactly. Full yeah, deal. So many deals here. Full deal wins the match. Well, he's going to say about Gilberto, who obviously, yeah, he's got a lot to prove this match. He's going to up his game and prove that, well, that lost to Town Cage in the first place was nothing but a fluke. Of course, down our British disco dancing there from Daniel Cage. Of course, the millions. And millions. Of the Cage fans here tonight. As, oh, what a big shot by down by Gilberto Alvey, your USA champion. And now the dirty tactics rake in the eyes. Just raking out the eyes down and oh vicious well arm break there. I think that Gilberto's got more off offense in here than he did in the, in the entire match on Nitro. Yeah, I think he has it. I think he's learnt a lot from that matchup and that loss to Tenor Cajun. It's a lot more focused here tonight. Oh look at this, just a knee right into the back. Come on, where is it? what is Rooney Wayne doing here? Oh, he's got no honor. He has no honour whatsoever. I just disgust him. Got to really start getting something on there. As a oh reverse suplex. I love a reverse suplex, and yeah, I think, I think Gilberto has learned a lot from that match, and he has, you know, scouted Town Cage heavily since that loss, and he's not going to be as cocky tonight as he was before. And we thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. Get your make sure you do get your vote in all the way through SummerSlam tonight. 
of course your only pay-per-view for uh, June our next time we will be on pay-per-view will be Battlegrounders super kick <laughs> a big super kick there but no pitting again Gilberto is this arrogance or is this stupidity would you say Tim I think it's a mix of both really you know he's been in his eyes you know he's seen himself as being covered but it's arrogant at the same time it could cost him the match which is stupidity and look, look at this Daniel Cage snap my take over and now just slowing the pace down just both men you would have to think could be just one mistake Tim that could cost either man the match yeah, and I think we saw it from Gilberto was that taught into the crowd was, you know, that first mistake which can cost him unless he can come back from this. Cage doesn't usually go up top, but this could be dangerous. Oh, Jesus! That is going to be it, but Charlie's under the rope. Ref! Bernie Wayne, what are you doing? Oh, he kicked out it too! Oh, he kicked out anyway, but my god, how did he not notice the hand? was clearly under the rope. My goodness me, the head of Daniel Cage almost kicked off, and Gilberto to the top. Elbow oh. drop connects! <laughs> the elbow drop, yeah. Is he dearly caught a free head? My goodness, oh, nice shot right into the stomach. This is really all Gilberto now, and now just again, Tim. What is Gilberto just really rubbing it in the face of Daniel Cage's fans here tonight? Yeah, and that could be a huge mistake, and look at that, it's come back to, you know, bite him. Shot round, look out. Inverted DDT. And yes, Daniel Cage, you are clever, but finish the match. Yeah, finish the match. Oh, wow, what a power slam there from Gilberto. And it seems like Daniel Cage making mistakes. And it just shows you that it goes one way, then the next, then the other, then another way again. Like, it just shows you NSW is so unpredictable. You are not going to get wrestling like this anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen. As Gilberto, what in the... Oh! oh! My goodness, off the top as well. Gilberto, well, you've got to be thinking it's just three seconds away now. And he's, what, he's still on more punishment, Tim. That's his like his, uh-oh. Has him up. Oh! South of the border. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be that. Gilberto El Rey defends the USA title. Yes, he certainly does. I thought he made some mistakes in that matchup. But in the end... Well, Jill Patel Rain managed to retain the USA Championship and get one over on Daniel Cage. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest and still your USA Champion, Gilberto El Rey. A great victory from Gilberto El Rey here tonight. Retains the USA Championship. What? start to summer slam ladies and gentlemen we're not even on the main card and we've seen some great action already you do not want to miss summer slam and gelberto walks out of london still the usa champ ladies and gentlemen this is your three main matches for tonight of course all main championships on the line from raw brock lesnar takes on roman reigns will the big dog retain here tonight or will the beast get his hands on the gold yeah what a match up this is going to be yeah, will Brock Lesnar become the Raw Champion? Can he, well, defeat Roman Reigns? Or will the Big Dog find a way to yet again defeat Brock Lesnar and remain as the NSW Raw Champion? We'll find out in the main event. The Nitro Championship is on the line. Marcus Cutter, the Danish wild man, has been forced into defending the championship tonight against the real American Connor Rhodes. Is it enough time for the wild man to prepare or does he care? We'll find out tonight on the main card as the Nitro Championship is on the line. To me, I don't think Marcus Cutter really cares who he gets in that ring with. He just loves to beat up whoever he's in there with, but Connor Rhodes certainly has no pushover, and we may see a new champion. Also coming up tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's the NSW SmackDown Championship, which is on the line when Adrian Kincaid tries to dethrone the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. 
tonight. Is it the time for Kinkade is now, or will the Lunatic Fringe continue on as champ? Yeah, we'll find out. As yeah, and Adrian Kinkade, a hell of a talented individual. And some feel that he forced his way to this. And day he has got this title shot. And he could defy your own Dean Ambrose, but we all know what Dean Ambrose is capable of. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. You have got... We're going to give you 10 minutes to get ready for SummerSlam because that is when the main card will start. We have so many championships on the line. You don't want to miss it. Tim, for the kickoff show, say goodbye to your fans. Yeah, goodbye fans for the kickoff show. And we'll all see you all for the main one. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you then. Davies and Tim Price, we'll see you for SummerSlam. It's 10 minutes away.